it's coming towards me. What is that? I don't know, what's going on? Oh, that's a good one, Rodney. That's the one we've been looking for. G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to uh, this series on catching flathead. Today we're going to show you how to catch flathead on a variety of soft plastics and as this series goes on we're going to talk about all sorts of different techniques from vibing for them, trolling for them, uh, chucking big swim baits up in the shallows for the big girls and there'll be a number of different videos so uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the flathead series. Okay, the gear that I'm using, guys, is super light. Like, I would literally target monster flathead with this stuff. You don't need real heavy gear. Um, this one here is an ATC Valiant. It's a 2000 carbon fiber, carbon fiber, real super, super light. I've got 10 pound braid on there. Uh, and the rod is a blazing tail, beautiful rod, six foot eight. So a nice long rod to really help you get those casts in there. And that's a four to eight pound. It's a two piece so I can throw it in the car. That's, is, look, it's very, very, basic setup you don't have to spend mega bucks when flathead fishing to deck yourself out there are heaps of combos out there you can get there for less than 200 bucks um, that'll absolutely do the trick when it comes to flathead i i love this combo that was fantastic now the other thing we got to talk about is leader pretty contentious a lot of guys like using a heavier leader because they do have raspy teeth in their mouth these flathead and they can chew through your leader i generally use about 10 to 15 pound maximum. Some guys use 20, but it also depends on what sort of lure that you're throwing. As we do this series, we're gonna throw some really big swim baits. The closer we get to spring, the real big girls will come out and hopefully Roddy and I can find some, yeah, some really big flathead for you. So you want to make sure when you're casting into these edges here, you get your lure right up into those shallows. We've literally seen flathead here and in other systems on the east coast, like up to a metre long, in literally inches of water. So get your lure right up in there and start working it all the way back to the boat, including that drop off. Don't be scared to cast it right up in amongst those weed beds as well. Yes, you'll get the odd snag, but you know what? It's worth it if you pull out a monster fish. So that has pretty much landed about a foot and a half from that edge. Then I just let it sink, and this is the technique that I use. Depending on the soft plastic that you have on, now this one here is like a paddle tail, so all I'm doing is just giving a little lift like that, and I'm gonna wind up the slack, making sure it's on the bottom. Wind up the slack a bit, just give it a little lift, and that's it. That's all I have to do to catch a good size flathead. Now what'll happen, if you can imagine that soft plastic on the bottom, as I do that little lift, just like that, that little tail is going to be waddling away and it's just going to dart up off the bottom and then it's going to slowly sink down again. It looks like an injured bait fish, but keeping it close to the bottom is absolutely vital. Oh, look at that. You got one. <laughs> yeah, little bubby flathead. That's not bad. He's okay. Now, even though he's a little one, you could probably lift him in. It doesn't hurt to bring the net out. Just to make sure, and just swim them in straight like that. That's a legal size. Most definitely. That's a lovely little fish. I wouldn't go hungry if I needed a feed. No, that's right. So using this little flathead X, there is another way of retrieving. You don't have to hop them if you don't want to, especially in this really, really shallow stuff. You can literally just cast it out, making sure you hit the bottom, but in inches of water you're going to. And rod tip up just slightly, and just a very slow retrieve. And you can see that rod tip's just bouncing a little bit as that soft plastic just rolls along the bottom. The tail's doing its work. It's kicking up a bit of sand as it comes along attracting a bit of attention and occasionally you can pause and then go again. So just a straight wind, straight back to the boat, nice and slow. I've always said this, go as fast as you think you need to and then halve it. Nice and easy is the way to go. Oh, do I drop him? No, he's coming towards me. What is that? I don't know, what's going on? 
Well, uh, I'm fighting like a flatty. Yeah, we might net him. Really important in this situation, just take your time. There is no hurry. This fish can't bust me off on any structure. You can even back your drag off a little bit in this situation if you want to. So many fish are lost at this point. And what guys do is as they bring them to the net, they lift their head out of the water. You want to be able to swim them in just subsurface. Roddy will just drop that net down and just swim him in like that. Oh, that's a lovely little fish. Beautiful. Yeah, you can see that fish there. He's probably, yeah, like Rodney's saying, probably nudging 45 centimeters, something like that. Great table fish, a lot of fun, and just so, so simple on soft plastics. Give them a go. As I said, all those bait fishers out there, gone are the days a live potty mullet for flathead when you've got lures that just catch fish after fish after fish. I'll get him out and we'll have a quick look. The other thing, great thing about these single hooks is they're very easy to remove from the fish as opposed to trebles. There's that little Zeric flathead X. That's a beautiful little flathead. Perfect. Like I said before, you get a dozen of them, half a dozen of them in the boat, you have got a sensational feed. Thank you very much, mate. You're a legend. Let's see if we can find your mum, eh? Off you go. Wake up, son. There he goes. So guys, I'm gonna to talk to you about tides now. Um, the thing about flathead is you can realistically catch them on pretty much any tide, but I think the best tide in most estuary systems on the east coast of Australia is the run out tide. As I said before, when they're up on the flats uh, and that bait starts to move off and those fish are ambushing the bait as it comes off those edges, that's the time to catch them. So for me, uh, here in the Tweed River, Roddy's got a nice fish. The last three hours of the run out tide I find is the very best time to be catching quality flathead. We've not even reached that yet and we're already catching fish and Rodney's dropped another Rodney one. Rodney had a nice fish. Rodney had a nice fish. He's the king of the dropsies today. I'll just show you how to rig up a soft plastic correctly. It's very, very important that they're absolutely dead straight when they sit in the soft plastic. So you sort of measure up roughly where you think the hook's going to come out of its back. So it's roughly about there. Start right in the middle of the nose of the soft plastic. Make your way through. And then when you think that's about where it's gonna come out, where it should be coming out, bring it out. And now that looks like a hot mess, but it's about to be corrected. So you just straighten her up, run her straight over your jig head, give it a twist to make sure she's straight. Super, super important that they sit straight. Now this one here wasn't the perfect job. It's got a little wobble in the top there, but that doesn't matter, that should be okay. Depending on the soft plastic, sometimes if you do that and you have a little wobble in there, they're not gonna swim straight. These guys are pretty good. They've got a good long tail and a paddle, so that'll still sit straight and swim right. But test it out in the water. If it doesn't, just pull it out and redo it again. But that there, that little McCarthy paddle tail is gonna catch me some nice flathead today. Let's go fishing again. That first one I dropped, that was probably, oh, there we go. You on? Yeah. Straight away. So Rodney's also using one of those McCarthy paddle tails and he's dropped that fish too. Wow, I think that's what, five, Rodney? Yep. Goodness me. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. Me too. Oh, come on. I just gotta get he that. wants it. So, yep. oh, you got him? Yeah. Well, that's a bigger fish. I reckon that's a bigger one, Rod. Uh, See how doughy he was at first? Yeah, I know, but... Yes, Ooh, I'm gonna come down with you, mate. Yeah, I don't think he's that big, pretty. Oh, okay. Mm. I guess Not wishful that. thinking, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's a bad fish. So you'll see in that situation when Rodney was, he actually got a bite, he actually felt the bite. What's really important is not to wind your lure too far away from the fish. Just leave it there, give it a little twitch, give him another opportunity to come back and eat it. As I'm bleeding profusely <laughs> from that little tiny flathead. And definitely keep their head down. That's it. Oh yeah. Mate, he's a keeper. And he should swim straight in. Beautiful. Should be high 40s. Absolutely. Great fish. I was taught this many, many years ago, probably close to 20 years ago, and it really does work on the flathead. It's a little bit more aggressive, and if you're in deeper water, it works exceptionally well. So once your lures hit the bottom, you can literally do a really aggressive, 
and another nice fish. My lure is, uh, my drag's not set right, but really aggressive flick like that. Wait for it to hit the bottom again. Go again. That's another technique that if other ones aren't working, can turn the fish on as Rodney gets another nice flathead. Oh, it's a nice flathead and stick. You are talented, man. Well, I've got both. That's what I'm saying, you got both. A flathead and a stick. <laughs> That's what I thought I dropped it. Huh? Huh? Look at the blue tail on that guy. He's gorgeous. another nice one they're all about the same size and at this time of the year so we're halfway through August and you tend to find all these sort of 40 to or 30 to 40 centimeter fish they're all males and they are waiting thanks mate they are waiting for these females to come from the upper reaches of the river systems to come down and spawn in September. So you find there's literally hundreds of these guys and they're all real hungry. They feed really, really hard and they're all roughly the same size. And occasionally this time of the year, you'll find a really big one, but it's more those September, October months where you really find those big girls that come down to spawn. But again, another legal size fish. They only got a single hook in like that. You can literally hold the hook Flip them off. Okay, that one's much better. Nice and straight. Right in the middle of the lure. Perfect, beautiful little McCarthy paddle tail. You can see on the sounder there, 5.6 meters, so quite deep, very, very close to the bank. So the drop off here is intense. It really does just drop straight off. Again, a prime spot for flathead. They will literally sit there on that drop off, waiting as this tide drops to ambush fish. So even if you're in deep water like this, it does not hurt to pepper these edges as well, just on the edge of that drop off. Once you get to the deeper water, sometimes I'll sit in here, but from on the run out tide, most times they are positioned right in hard on that immediate drop off. It's a great place to target flathead. I can keep that one. Look at that little guy. Again, four inch paddle tail, little flathead, not an issue. Oh yes! That's a real one, Rod. Look at it run! Yes, sir. -y. Don't chase it, just go for it. You don't need to chase it. Oh, that's a good one, Rodney. That's the one we've been looking for. All right, I'm coming up. I'll just stand in behind you. Yes, that was a good fish. Good run, eh? Yeah, good fish. He hit it really hard. Ooh. Oh, he's dropped it. He did. He had loose line then. You dropped your rod tip, went loose. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was the big one. That was the big one. That was a big girl. That was the one we're here for. Did you see it run? Started there, ran probably a good 20 meters sideways. You tend to know. Yeah. That was probably an 80 plus, mate. Easily. That was a big fish. And it just came loose. Just, uh, yeah. So what, what lesson is to be taken from this? What did you do wrong? Uh, loose line. Yeah. Don't drop your rod tip without keeping tension on your line. That is such a valuable lesson. So as you're winding down or you pump up, make sure you start to wind before you drop your rod tip rather than drop it because it'll just come loose in their mouth and we just lost. No matter how many times I teach people that. <laughs> yeah, like... Mate, why don't you take your own advice? Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> dude. Up cut um, yeah. That's another good one. And they're sitting in that corner. Yeah, probably probably about the same as the last, maybe a little bit smaller than the last one. Yes. Nice little fish. You know when they're a real one, when you've got virtually no drag and they start pulling drag, that's when you've got a real one. This is just a, another. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah, he's okay, mate. But when you've seen the one Rodney hooked, you don't want to catch these anymore. <laughs> I'm going to whip that hook out really quick. 
hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. We are hoping to finish on a big one. Obviously, we haven't. I hope you've learned something. But in this series to come, we're going to be talking about so many other things. Um, we're going to switch from soft plastic to vibes. Really effective. His favorite. Very, very clever on vibes. Um, and we're going to be changing up to these big swim baits in the shallows, chasing the really big girls as we get closer to spring. We're going to talk about tides, and we're also going to talk about moon phases and bite times and all sorts of different things as this series goes forward. So thanks for watching today. Thanks for your uh, fishing with me today, Rodney. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. See ya. See ya. <laughs> you idiot! I want one more You idiot! I have to get one more cap. Oh, man. Oh, bro, that was a good kid. That, that was 80. Hey everybody, um, please uh, hit subscribe down the bottom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit subscribe and, and the notification little bell there so every time we get uh, a video uploaded, you'll, you'll know about it. I'm gonna put up all the short versions of our show. Um, it's gonna be heaps of cool content plus heaps of how-to videos uh, that'll hopefully help you guys out in your fishing endeavors. So um, yeah, subscribe.